Woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? I'm going to start off by saying, Call Halal Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole for elect that is scattered abroad, preaching this truth to the four corners. So you all say Shalom. All right. And I'm entitled to this, and most of y'all won't make it. All right. Because the truth is, the majority of y'all ain't going to make it. All right. But um, this is Ed, Edris, you know, he's a prophet of old, you know, and the Lord gave him the vision of of what's coming in these times that we're in today. All right. And, you know, woe meaning destruction. All right. So, hey, we we in the time of, of, of death and destruction, you know, it's going to get heavy out here, man. Hey, it's going to be a lot of things going on, you know. But, um, um, and go to verse verse 18 it's like the beginning of sorrows and great mourning the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear and the beginning of evil what shall I do when these evils shall come All right? and that's, that's him you know you know seeing that vision that was gave to him and you know, um, Edges is reincarnated back in his life today, man, prophesying the downfall of this great kingdom, man. You know, he's he, he out there on the highways and the byways, man. Like he was back in the past, you know, as well as, as other prophets, man. You know. But verse nineteen to say, Behold, famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges in for a minute, man. Uh, hey, that's sore destruction, man. Things are changing around here. Alright, uh, and it is it's only gonna get bad for you people, man. It is it is not going back to normal, man. It will never be like it was back in the day, man. So y'all yeah, quit waiting on it. It's over with man. It say, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. All right. Then you, you, hey, you got these... These these two for twenty meals going on. You got the dollar menu. You know you got this. Um, these five dollar chicken boxes and five dollar Taco Bell boxes. You know you got this Chinese food. Hey, what you shouldn't even be eating that mess, man. You don't know what you don't know what they feed you, man. You know. But yeah, all grubbing and, and going on. But great evils is being stored up upon you, man. Hey, right now you you got you got the whole world in in the uprising, man. There's about to be a lot of killing going on, but y'all don't care. Hey, y'all sitting back stuffing your face, man, with a large piece and a extra large coat, man. All right, but it say, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And right now, man, they killing off crops. They they dumping gallons of milk. All right. They um right now they hollering about a, a shortage of um what it is a, aluminum or some, you know, for for canned products like canned beans and you know canned corn or whatever. Then they um you know they 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 killed a lot of pigs over there in China. You know about the um the Ebola situation that was going on, and um right now they talking about um Esau putting Brussels in in, in your frozen meat, man, and your dairy product. All right, right now one point some you know million Americans they starving right now, man. People passing them out food at food banks and stuff. 
Like, hey, man, this famine is here, man. But it's finna come on an even larger scale, man. The scriptures say you're gonna eat your children, man, for hunger and drink their blood for thirst, man. But y'all people don't know what's going on, man, because y'all wanna continue in wickedness and folly, man. All right. Verse 23 is saying, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, man. And that's what you see right here in this picture, man. Bodies laid out, man, everywhere, man. And it's saying, there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down, man. Alright. But from there, let me go to, um, let me see, the book of Jeremiah. 25 and 33. And it says... And the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be at that day. That day, we're just talking about the day that we are, are approaching, fastly approaching. It say, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day, from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground, man. All right, man, the Lord is coming back to kill a lot of you people, man. He is not coming back with ice cream cones, ice cream sandwiches, you know, lollipops, doves, and, you you know, you know, passing out crowns up, upon everybody's head, man. He is not, he, he is coming to destroy, man. All right, but um, from now, I want to go into the book of Matthew. chapter 24 in verse 21 and read for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be all right and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. Hey, though that 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 group of people right there, his elect, that's the only people who he worrying about, man. He is not worrying about everybody, man. He said he prayed for he prayed for um to lock him. He said he prayed for them. He he don't pray for the world, man. He prayed for his elect. He don't pray for the world, man. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. Hey, man, Esau, Esau is coming down with great wrath, man. But y'all still hollering about, um, you know, trying to say the, the so-called white man. Hey, he he is only made to 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 punish, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. He is not, he wasn't made to be your friends. He wasn't made to hold your hands. Hey, he was made to only do one thing. To, to, to whoop you Israelites, man. Alright. But, um, let me see. Um, this is Revelation 12, verse 12. It say, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Alright, and, and that right there, you know, explaining what, what I was talking about, man. Hey, the, the, the devil is 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 Esau, man. Was just mean, um, deceiver, man. He he deceived the whole world, man. And and to to believe in, you know what he want them to believe, man. But he know he have a short time, man. That's why he trying to push these vac these vaccines, and 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 push this microchip, which is the mark of the beast, you know. And 
he trying to, to depopulate the earth, you know, to, and bring in his his um new world order, man. But the Lord, the Lord ain't finna let him, you know, bring in his new world order, man. He gonna stop him in his tracks, man. But he he is coming down with great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time, man. Like he seeing these these so called UFOs pop up, man, which is the Lord's chariots, man. He seeing them manifest, you know, damn near every day, man. Hey, he he know his time is short, man. All right, but from now I want to go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 39, verse 27. And it reads, All these things are for good to the godly. Alright? It say All these things are good to the godly. And who is who is the godly? His elect, man. The ones that love him. The ones that are going to keep his commandments to the best of their ability, man. You know, the ones that's going to do what he told them to do, man. Let me read that again. It says, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, verse 27. All these things are for good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turning to evil. Hey. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Hey man, you finna start seeing apparitions manifest. You know, hey, forget a ghost. Have you ever seen a demon, man? You would, hey, we are about to see him, man. Hey, but it's, hey, it's, it's, it's a good thing to his elect, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. You know, because I'm I'm doing what he didn't you know what 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 he told me to do, as well as the the other brothers, you know. But um it's saying and appease the wrath of him that made them. Alright. So hey, they they gon' they gonna do whatever he told them to do, whatever he want them to do, they're gonna come and do it, man. Without no hesitation, man. You ever seen that movie Final Destination? Hey, it, that's finna happen on a larger scale, but you're gonna actually be seeing demons doing it, man. It's not gonna be no coincidence now, it's gonna be demons, man. Spirits created for vengeance, man. People gonna be blowing people's brains out, man, right in front of you, right in front of you, man, because hey, they got spirits created for vengeance in them, man. Verse 29, it says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth the wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Man, have you ever been ate alive, man? <laughs> oh man have you ever seen someone be ate alive man have you ever have you ever even been bit by a dog man hey that is not a that is not a pleasant feeling man you got lions and tigers and bears oh my hey you got jaguars and leopards man hey man you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, come back to your power, man, while you still can. Because, hey, we at the end of this thing, man. We at the end of this thing, hey. And and his his election have obtained it, but the rest was blinded. Hey, we, 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 see, the, we see these prophecies so clear, man. Hey, come back to, come, come back to your power, man. Before it's too late, call on him while he is near. Cause he's he's about to close the door to repentance, man. When he closed that door and and draw withdraw his prophets off these highways and byways, man, it's all here for you wicked ones, man. Lord, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. You know, until the whole field let.
that is, that is doing this work, hey, in truth and sincerity, I want to say shalom.